What do you think about uh, Stuff as Falco? Uh, stuff as Falco? <laughs> I, okay, I, Stuff as Falco, I, I, I told him personally, I, I, I think the best way to, to, to talk to, to describe his Falco is uh, the drunk emote from, uh, from Skype, you know? <laughs> yes. Like, I feel like it's very a bit janky, you know. He likes to go for. He, he does. He he plays with his heart. To be fair. He plays with his heart. <laughs> but uh, but there's potential. There's definitely potential. Huh? Uh, yeah. Great, sir. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Kuba. Let's go. Uh, Rixer against Sturfer. Yep, we did it. And Rixer plays. So it's Falco Dittos? That's cool. I like Falco Dittos. I think he did it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Right, so uh, Stufa getting a lead right off the bat. Did I, did I spell the Rixo right? Yeah, yeah but it's yeah. a small T. Uh, store T, store T. Oh, I got that one. I'm gonna fix it. Oh! I haven't really watched his uh, speedruns, but I see him in, uh, in the Discord quite a bit. Yeah, Falco did us. On FD. Falco did us on FD. What a matchup. I kind of like it. This matchup is the definition of one touch death like, on the stage. Well, probably not with these players, to be fair. No, but. Uh, but uh, it should be. One shot should be death. Every time in really? this matchup, it's crazy. It's the most brutal matchup in the game on this stage. Just because you can always follow up everything, and everything should lead to an edge guard. So, all right. Bad. So actually, what you said about Stufa, it's, um, it's the most flow charty matchup ever. Do you remember what we said about sci scientific versus field? Stufa is definitely the field player. Yeah, and, and Rick, Rick is definitely the more scientific player. He always asks about options. And, I, uh, I agree. How to do things methodically, and that comes from but being a speedrunner. That makes yeah. that makes sense because you want to optimize, right? When you're a speedrunner, you know that's that's how you usually do things. But well, what you can see here is that uh, Stoffe is just a lot more experienced, yeah. so he's just gonna he's gonna have a better intuitive feel about every situation, even though he doesn't know the exact correct yeah. uh, option in every spot. He just yeah. has a better idea. Of he's gonna to have do. a better time in the in the little in the little moments and the little situations. Yeah, well, even in the bigger situations, I would say, like yeah. you just this experience is just it just teaches you a lot. And the problem is that experience will also teach you wrong things. Because uh, you can be successful with uh, with uh, things that are just plain wrong, and you will never be optimal as long as you don't try to catch those things. Nice. Should have fire laser there, I think, a lower laser. Just gets the F smash. Yep. Still so not afraid to throw F smashes out of nowhere. Nice, the back row. Okay. That would have been good in the TSC. Yeah. Actually, when you look at Rixer, he looks a lot more like an MP2 in his playstyle. Like, like waiting, trying to wave dash backwards. But obviously, I don't know, how long does he play melee? Oh, nice! That was a uh, nice read. He's kind of had a, He's kind of, you know, played the game a bit and start, played the game and the start. You know, he has, uh, he has, uh, he had a lot of other things up, but these days he's really trying to get good at this game. Cool, that's really, really cool. He's uh, had a long uh, phase with Overwatch, being a very, very good player in Overwatch and nice. uh, playing in very high level teams. Actually. Uh, but he quit, uh, and now he wants to play melee. So he's back to speedrunning and melee. So. That's great. How old is he? I do not know. Hmm. 
Alright, so uh, take a match, see if Rickster can get something going here. Uh, I taught Rickster that, uh, how to uh, shine someone on the platform and uh, wave land Yeah, you need to so shine on the plat just below and then wave land up on it. Is that uh, right? Yeah, or as long as you hit the opponent, that's what you want to extend the combo. And then, uh, and then land on the platform and follow. Yeah, exactly. Follow with down air, generally? Yeah, that's a key uh, aspect of uh, combos with Falco that you have to get good at. I told him that, but uh, obviously he's, he can't do it perfectly just yet, but it's, it's nice. definitely... Uh, it's, it, it's great to see that he's trying. It's great to see it. It, it just shows like this methodical side of him. Oh, Twitch chat says that he's 20. Young man. Wow. Yeah. I remember when I was 20, I wanted to be good at video games. Me too. <laughs> now I don't care anymore. I need, to, I need to get good at life instead, you know? Yeah. There comes a time in every man's life where you either decide to go full video games or leave video games. Why not both? You need to go, you need to go full video games or... I don't know, I, I, don't, uh, I think both is doable, but it's hard. It's very hard. I, I don't know. I because there are lots of success cases of people being you know, good at both, to be fair. More than sure. uh, Hungrybox is uh, an engineer, right? Yeah, exactly. That's pretty cool. Even though he's full-time Smash right now, I... He, he has the degree. He has a degree. He has the qualifications. That's cool. I work a 50 hour week. I don't think I could be a good at the same time. I definitely don't recommend to anyone to uh, pursue uh, professional gaming. No. Like, it's it's an extremely risky venture. I would recommend everyone to waste the, their youth uh, playing video games though. Yeah, I would, I would video do. games are godlike. <laughs> video games are the most awesome shit. And nothing should ever convince you otherwise, but pro gaming is definitely something it's that's... A rough, it's a rough field. Especially, it's, it's still a rough field. I mean, esports is getting bigger and uh, I think it's money, money is getting bigger but it still only helps the, the, the top one percent of the game really there's not either you're up there or you're not it's there's no middle ground like in other sports where you can be a professional but plays consistently wait did, did Rickshaw just take a match off Stufa? yeah he did oh my wow. god oh, wow. we should have been commentating that yeah we're, we're, <laughs> we're talking about uh, life instead yeah which is also kind of interesting you know in, in its own way but man Rickshaw is taking a match I wasn't even watching yeah. I'm sorry. Let's sorry, go, Twitch Ricky. chat. <laughs> sorry, Twitch chat. <laughs> Let's go, Ricky. Oh, there Let's you go. go. I'm gonna. And he did Ooh, it. The shine. King, oh. Fun, King Fun taught him that. Yeah. He did it. I and Stufa it. did it as well. But he didn't get the follow up uh, down there. Wait, is that a. That's a Ricky emote. I. Wow. I, I didn't see that. The roast up. <laughs> that's, <Bad>. that's amazing. <laughs> I feel like this is just Ricky's uh, fan stream. I'm glad I finally I have I finally fa have a Falco apprentice. No, that's awesome. I, I always wanted one in Denmark. No, no one wants to play Falco. Every but now, new player, you just try to make them your Falco apprentice. Yeah, exactly. But they didn't want to join the Falco set. But Stufa switched to Falco, which is cool, and the Rixor really wants to get good. So uh, we have finally have some other oh. Falcos. in Rixor is actually kind of winning. God bless the bird. I like watching Falco do this. Also because we watch so many floaty matchups now already. We don't have enough Falcos in that market. Um, I welcome this. Yeah, that's fine. I definitely enjoy character diversity. Too many sheiks. <laughs> oh, that's true. And peaches. <laughs> nice! That was cool. But then it didn't get jump cancel out of the shines until. Oh, nice I like follow ups by Stufa. Oh, that's not too. I think just standing there is not very good. Uh, unless you crouch cancel. Crouch cancel is extremely powerful against good up attacks uh, with Falco. On how many percent? On, on 84? Pretty high, pretty high. On 84 high. still? Yeah, it's, it's actually ridiculous how, how long you can crouch cancel. That's cool. It depends on which get up attack. Some get up attacks are, uh, are stronger than others. That's, that's weird. I haven't really begun applying it, uh, but it's, it's certainly strong. Like if you watch even uh, even like for example in Falcon Tech Chases, you know what we like to call 20 GX, the, yeah. the Falcon players. What they do is that uh, when they get a downpour and they wave that forward, if they see the get up attack, they they crouch and uh, they just eat the get up attack and then get a re grab. Then grab, yeah. Exactly. And if they roll away, you can just uh, chase them and grab them again. It's superior to shielding because if you shield, you only have access to your out of shield options and if you crouch cancels, you can do anything you want. So you can forward smash them, for example. Right, so uh, Stufa actually uh, managed to take it back. Rickshaw on his final stock here. It's, uh, yeah. 
pretty close. He needs to finish out this dog rather fast. But this is Taco de Dos. Oh, he's a nice grab. I thought he would shine, but that was a good idea. Too. Right? Laser, I like it. And then just... What does Taco do against the uh, 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 lasers from the legs? Uh, Taco surprisingly has a kind of... Oh, oh a suicide. Last SD stock in this set. The... In this uh, really... Oh boy, the champs. That is what I meant. Oh! About, this is what I meant about field player. This is not in the book of Faco. The, yeah. the triple and double japs. I do like it sometimes. I like it more on Fox by a large margin. <gasps> oh, this okay. might. This. Oh, oh the dancer was nice. Oh, oh no. No. Uh, heartbreak. Heartbreak. Throw your uh, the prick emotes in the chat. No. Oh, the heartbreak. That was unfortunate. That was a great idea. The, the fourth down magnum oh foretell is a really God. good way to catch. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, if it, if it, if it had, I don't think I don't think he stage. caught the jump though. I don't think he caught the jump. I think uh, Stuka was smart enough not to jump there because that's a it's a typical trap with Falco. The back throw, back throw down, down foretell. Yeah. 